and land less than 25% of their significant strike attempts. Well, this is exciting here, DC. The founder of Jeet Kune Do, one of the founding fathers, really, of mixed martial arts. Bruce Lee is back in a big spot here today. Bruce Lee is what every kid looked to when they thought about doing karate. Bruce Lee is the person that anyone looked at when they said, I want to be a fighter. It was the speed, it was the charisma, it was the approach of Bruce Lee that made him so special. And tonight, he's gonna look to show a new generation of fighters exactly how it's supposed to be done. And if you hear the phrase, drillers make killers, right? I mean, that was Bruce Lee in a nutshell. He felt like practice yes, would make yes. perfect. Nobody trained as hard as the great Bruce Lee. for this, our main event of the evening. And now for the official introductions, the veteran voice of the Octagon is Bruce Buffett. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. <laughs> Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, Big Bang. And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner, Bruce the Dragon Ring. Herb Dean, ready, our ready. referee for this one. All right, here's Bruce Lee getting ready for another UFC start as we begin round one. So fast, so quick, so good at setting up striking angles, and it's hard to simulate the speed in training. I know the opponent has talked a lot about trying to find training partners to simulate Bruce Lee. Easier said than done. Bruce Lee trying to get off to a good start tonight. Fight behind a night jab. His opponent still stands. I mean, I have no idea. This fight is supposed to be over. It might not be over now, but it's gonna be over very soon. Nice one-two combination there. Good work, you're doing good. Liver kick. Relax, relax, keep your hands up. He really gets caught by that straight punch, beautifully landed by the opposition. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. Oh, nice. Nice. Outstanding the body there. He's the taller fighter. Might as well put that size to good use, and he certainly did so there. Oh, he tags him with the straight hand there. Nice job by Lee. Superman punch now. He's got a good leg kick. There it is. Oh, nice straight there by Lee. All right, so a good series of kicks by him there. He has mixed it up beautifully, I think, on the feet tonight. He is kicking everywhere tonight. He's doing a fantastic job. Touched him with the strike there. A couple minutes gone by round one. Just out of range with the straight left hand. All right, so now we start to see some redness underneath the elbow. You got to think he's going to continue to attack the body with all of his strikes. Well, his opponent has not done anything to deter him. He should keep doing this, keep going to the well until his opponent finds an answer because right now he seems lost to it.
Well, champ, I don't see that well, but it's hard to miss the redness underneath that elbow. A lot of bodily investment from his opponent tonight. Yeah, it's an investment, John. It may not pay dividends right now, but the more you go there, the more damage you do eventually, it will show itself. Right now, it's starting to show. Under two minutes now to go in the opening round. And the cut has just opened up now on his forehead. Oh, big right hand, yes. Nice jab by Lee. When both are prepared, these are the types of fights that we expect. Oh, big hook, that'll sting. Oh, he blocked that punch. Oh, good kicks now. It's amazing, one calf kick can do so much damage, starting to show some signs of bruising there. It's already starting to limit him. Now a kick to the body. Under a minute now to go in the round. Nice punch to the head. Lee's strike there is blocked. Nice job by the defense. Big power shot there. The 32nd mark in our opening round. Pretty good connection there, yeah. Oh, bone on bone, shin slash foot, right to the skull. You see why I'm a commentator and not a fighter? You see why? Yeah, those are fun. I'm telling you, man, you get kicked in the head. A lot of times, it's the end of the night. Got a little experience with that. Yes, huh? I do. Horrible. Round one. All right, there's the horn. The round is over. You see there's a cut above his eyes, sustained in that round. And now the cut man comes in. He'll have 60 seconds to try to close it up and prevent it from becoming a factor here moving forward. All right, so let us now check out some of the action in that round, DC. There was a whole lot of it, including a stunner upstairs that nearly closed the show. It was a lot of action. It was back and forth action. But the big moment was that big strike to the head that landed that put him on wobbly legs and in survival mode. Luckily, he made it to the end of that round. You ready? You ready? Second round here. All right, next round is now underway. I thought there was pretty good back and forth action in the previous round. Yes, it wasn't a firefight. It wasn't two guys throwing the kitchen sink at each other. But you did see times when it came together and you saw the skill level of these two fighters. Great setup. That was a nasty high kick. Tried to set up the straight left, but he missed. Head kick attempt. It's blocked. Also, the taller fighter lands a knee yet again. Both fighters exchange in the pocket here. Oh, perfect head kick there. Oh, and he lands another knee there, DC. He talked a lot to us about his length and his size advantage. Doesn't always pay to be the tall. Oh, there's his head kick there. We'll see if he can finish. They're going at it here. Huge shots landing on both sides. All right, well, he rocked him pretty good, but he did sort of smell blood in the water, and now his opponent's back in the fight. I mean, blood's in the water. You gotta go get it. You gotta go find the finish. You cannot let him off the hook like that, because now he will be motivated to try to go and hurt you as you hurt him. Oh! Huge kick to the head. All right, so it looks like some bruising on that thigh right now. He hasn't really done anything to address that weapon from his opponent. He's got to check some kicks. I know right now it may not... Oh, shot finds the target there. Great shot lands. Now he's got to go find that follow-up attempt. The kill shot is what they call it to go and end the fight. Oh, my goodness. 
Three minutes now to go in round two. Please kick to the body. That one blocked by the defense. This pace is just absurd. He has kept it up throughout the fight. Shades of Max Holloway against Calvin Cater. Punches and punches. I mean, being there, watching Max Holloway do what he did, was super impressive. So to even list this performance alongside that tells you how this guy is fighting tonight. Oh, oh you got to keep pressing here. Could be the beginning of the end. Oh, here's a kick to the body. Blocked, though, by Lee. Both fighters throwing heat now. Going for the body kick there, but he misses. No setup whatsoever there. Man, has he landed a high volume of strikes here in round two. Definitely picking up the pace after round one. So he got the message from the corner, and now he is taking control of this second round. Lee's lower jaw does not look good. I don't think it's broken, but starting to show some obvious signs of swelling. Lands a good series of kicks there, DC. It really didn't take him long to get a good beat on his opponent. He figured the timing, and now he's been driving kick after kick into his opponent. Fighters separate from the clinch. Lands a beautiful leg kick. Oh, you land, I land. Is that what we're doing here? Well, it's been a wild fight thus far. Perhaps a contender for some bonus money at fight's end. These guys are going to have to dig deep. They're both hurt. They're both hurt. You expected it, though. You expected a close fight. You did not expect a war like this, though, where both guys, from the moment they said fight, went forward, got in each other's face, and just beat each other. Oh, what a job to get the head kick home, and now his opponent in a world of trouble. Such a sneaky head kick. He did not recognize him. Bad. Oh, he lands a massive kick here. He's got that jab working nicely done. So he's really starting to put together some significant body shots here. These are going to take their toll as this fight goes on. Oh, nasty cut right on the bridge of the nose. He is bleeding. 20 seconds left. Leg kick now. Another leg kick lands. Massive head kick. Oh, Ten oh, minutes oh. in the can. All right, so now this damage really bears watching, right? His face compromised, and you got to think it's going to start affecting his output as well offensively. Well, you got to look from the start to make mistakes. Trying to overcompensate for all the shots that he's taken to the face, for all the swelling. I have seen on many occasions where someone has massive swelling and they struggle. Look for this guy to start to mess up a little bit in there. Well, if you're the replay guy, a lot to like in that previous round. A lot of damage being inflicted. Yeah, I mean, and look at the swelling now, John. He wasn't doing what he needed to do to move his head, fight. and he's paying right. for it. You cannot allow yeah. for an elite-level mixed martial artist to connect at that rate and think that you will not be wearing the damage. He's wearing it now, I'm interested to see what changes he makes to give himself an opportunity. Do you believe it? This next round is underway. In the previous round, both fighters got rocked. Crowd going bananas. Big opportunity for both fighters here. These are the types of fights that makes it so fun to sit right next to the octagon and call the action. Well, he continues to land a high number of strikes here, just like he did in the previous round. This is a world-class display of striking here tonight. Well, I'm not sure if there's a facial fracture of some kind, but the striking approach has certainly worked tonight, and his opponent... He's hurting for sure. He's hurting really bad right now. I mean, every single time a shot. What a great way of mixing up his attack. He didn't stay the course. He mixed it up. He went high when his opponent thought he was going low. And now he's got him hurt very badly. Oh, man, the blood is flowing now. I know a lot of you like that, but he has got to figure some things out defensively or this fight's going to end. He's got to move his head, John. 
But the problem is, now he's got the blood to deal with. He's got a sharp striker in front of him. He has got a lot of things to deal with if he wants to win this fight. But right now, the focus needs to be on the head movement so you're not getting hit in that cut. Good jab there by Lee. All right, so a similar blow earlier in the round. It wasn't a knockdown, but it was certainly a stunner that caught his attention. Oh, I mean, he got hurt bad. To see him still standing, that just goes to the toughness that he has to be still standing after taking such a damaging shot. Lee's nose is bleeding now, so we'll see how he handles that adversity, but nothing ideal about it here in the middle of this fight. Under three minutes now to go in round three. Some spacing as they exit the clinch. Trying to go to the body here, unable to find the target. Well, not sure if he's lighter on his feet or what it is, but these last couple of rounds, he's been far more aggressive, a lot more pressure. Oh, he's really starting to light him up now. I'm not even sure what I'm watching right now. He doesn't seem to respect those high leg kicks whatsoever, despite the obvious physical damage he has. And, and you can see it early, John. Very early you saw that he was almost dismissive of that attack. But I believe that now we're getting to a point where if he doesn't address it, he's going to get finished with leg kicks. Well, I can't even relate to the mental and physical toughness we are seeing from these two individuals. Both fighters damaged and compromised and yet leaning on the heart here late in the fight. Yeah, they're both leaning on the heart. They're both trying to really show. And maybe time to get the bonus checks ready. I mean, this fight is about done. He's got him hurt very bad with his head kick. Now he has to find one more strike to end the night. Nice leg kick. Well, the cut men have done everything that they can tonight, but these guys are handing out facials. This is crazy. He's hurt so bad. He's got to find safety. Find a way that you can recover. Oh, looking to land the leg kick. That one checked. Well, at this point, DC, I'm not sure if he's just biding his time or just trying to get some extra reps, but go finish the guy. It seems like the guy's playing with his food. You know, he's having a good time out there. Everything's working. He's in the zone. It feels like at any moment he can end the night of his opponent. But he seems to be having fun. And hey, to each his own, I guess, I'd be rushing out of that octagon. Yeah, you don't play with your food. No. Well, that lead leg is compromised at this point in time, as is his mobility. That bruising is out of control. He wants to switch stances, but he's not as good on the opposite side. So he can try to protect the leg, but then all of his other weapons are not nearly as effective. He's got some questions to answer now. Final 30 seconds of this third round. Well, when you're dealing with a cut like that, it may not be long before it starts to impact the breathing. Not a good spot to be in here. 15 seconds. Looking to land the leg kick now. That's three rounds in the can. We're headed to the championship round. All right, so both fighters severely damaged. That's probably not overstating it. I'm not even sure how we made it to the end of the round, but here we are, and the fight continues. I, I thought it was done. I mean, both of these guys are so swollen and so beat up that if either corner said, hey, enough is enough, I wouldn't complain one bit. All right, we're going to look at some replays as they attend to the two damaged athletes in between rounds. I mean, they're just getting after each other from the very start. It seemed like as soon as one got hit, they made the determination that I'm going to out-tough you. And by trying to out-tough each other, they are having a fun fight for the fans. I just don't know if it's great for the longevity of the career. Yeah, you put that well. This is truly one of those bite-down-on-the-gum-shield type fights. Remarkably, we have arrived at the next round. Let's see how it goes. You ready to fight? Ready. Go we have arrived at the fourth round fight schedule for five five-minute rounds. All right, next round is underway here, and clearly these guys put in the right work during training camp when it comes to the cardio. You could tell that cardio and conditioning was the focus of both of these gentlemen as they prepare for this fight. 
Bro, that cut is so bad. Like, can't the referee stop the fight right now? Somebody needs to stop it, because he won't. Yeah. That's the thing. That's the beauty of the fighter. He will not quit. Sometimes, you got to go in there and tell him, hey, man, there's tomorrow. Yeah. It doesn't have to happen today. Punch got blocked there. Oh, a huge strike lands there, DC. He landed that massive shot. Now he needs to try to find the next shot, the follow-up shot, that will finish the fight. Well, most fighters can't keep up this type of aggression and pace, but you don't have to worry about this guy. He hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down tonight. Well, I think I can smell the blood at this point in time. That canvas didn't look like that a few fights ago. Blood is flowing from that cup with every passing strike. Every strike. And it burns. John, it burns so bad. When you get cut like that, every time a shot lands, it just burns. So this guy needs to try to find a way to not take and limit the damage he's taking to this cut. Easier said than done, though. Front kick to the body is there. Nice work by Lee. Another body kick lands. Oh, good block there. Just over three minutes to go. Oh, and he continues to pour it on. We mentioned earlier the aggression with his striking. Got to be careful to not gas out here, but at least you have to admire the approach. What a beautiful leg kick that landed there. Yeah, he's got to. He's got to start checking kicks. Throwing that jab, no good. Oh, just a nasty leg kick. That one hurt. That's hard to punch. I mean, he is throwing those kicks with evil intent. He is trying to break his leg with every single kick. Push kick there to the body. Lee gets lit up by that straight punch. I mean, over and over, he is taking these strikes to the head. Oh, oh big knee there. Guys are leaking all over each other. Ooh. Nice leg kick. Lee's shot is blocked. Beautiful body kick. They're so evenly matched, and they're going tit for tat. Keep moving. Protect your face, hands up. Under two minutes now to go. The official decision is in. Here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean has called a stop to this contest at 3 minutes, 59 seconds of round number four. Declaring the winner by TKO, Bruce the Dragon Lee. Mixed martial arts royalty, folks. Bruce Lee, lighten up your living room tonight and giving this capacity crowd a whole lot to cheer about. You know he's going to get everyone's best shot, but more